Hey everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to walk you through the process of changing your color style in Photoshop. So right now I have uh, Crazy Talk Animator 3.2 open and I have a kind of a new character on the screen here with a 3.2. You can find these uh, new G3 characters in the uh, character G3 human folder here with their uh, skivvies on, this female. If we go a little further down we can find the, uh, the male in his undies here as well. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and go into composer mode because we're going to go, go ahead and launch this in Photoshop in just a moment. Now note this is only for G3 characters and props, uh, no accessories at this moment, okay? And you need to have the pipeline version of Crazy Talk Animator as well. Uh, anyways, okay, so with our character in composer mode, we need to go over here to launch to external PSD editor, alright? And that'll launch in uh, whatever you want, Photoshop or whatever uh, 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 software you use that uses PSD files. And you can see here we have two options. One to launch the head and body in a single file. And right, this is what we're going to do, do a little bit later on. And the next option is to launch the head and body in two separate files. This is good if you want to retain your vector-based head and just replace the body. Or if you want to uh, raise the resolution, keep the head resolution high or something like that. Uh, you can launch them as two separate files. So let's just go ahead and launch those right now just to kind of show you what I mean. It'll come up with a notification that the vector element is going to be converted into an image element. And we'll go ahead and press OK. It's going to launch that in Photoshop as two separate files. Okay, so there's our head and there's our body, two separate files. Just wanted to show you we can do that. We're going to close them down right now and go back into uh, Crazy Talk Animator. Do the same thing, but this time we're going to launch the head and body in a single file. And I'm going to change the image scale here. You can notice that at the bottom here our PSD resolution is changing. Uh, generally I like to keep it at a fairly high resolution, maybe like 2.5. Uh, it normally works out quite well. And we'll just go ahead and launch that as a single file. It'll come up with the same notification there. You can go ahead and press OK. And it's going to launch that body and the head together in Photoshop in a single file. All right, so let's take a look at, let's break down the anatomy of our character. Uh, so over here in the layers uh, panel, if we go down to uh, Bone Human, uh, we can make that invisible. And these are just basically the bones on our character's body. Nothing to worry about there. We can make those invisible. All we're doing is changing the layer or the color of our character's uh, layers. All right, so uh, and then in the talking head section, this is where all your head stuff is under talking head. We can twirl that down. And on, on, under that, you can see we have a group called head bone. I'm going to make that invisible as well because we don't need to see any of the bones in this case. We just want to focus on our character's skin. All right, so now that we've got that out of the way, we can take a look at all the different layers on our character. Now, under uh, for all the face, uh, facial stuff, like the eyes, the eyebrows, and the mouth, you'll find all that stuff under Head Image, okay? These are like the sprites or the layers in Photoshop for each individual uh, item on your face, uh, facial feature, okay? So like the nose, for example. Let's just zoom in on the nose a little bit, and uh, you can see if we go to the front hair, for example, we'll have a front hair sprite. Uh, or layer, I guess, in Photoshop again. You can control Z that. Uh, we can go to the uh, mouth. And under the mouth, you'll see there's a number of different mouths because we have, uh, you know, different expressions on the mouth. Uh, I can take this normal mouth right here and, and move it around like that. Put the mouth on our forehead if I want. I'm going to control Z that again. And you can see under here we have smile open, but it's not visible in this case. Uh, we can make it, we can make it visible by uh, activating that right there and we can uh, move that around. Uh, we selected the wrong one there. Smile open. There we go. Ooh. And just control Z that. We'll make that invisible for now since we don't need to see it. Okay, that's where basically all the layers on the head are. So we'll just twirl up the head image group there and go to RL image. This is where all the body stuff is here. So basically the same thing, just the body. Um, let's just show you a couple of examples here. The left thigh, we twirl that down. There's an image for the left thigh here, which is the entire left leg pretty much. There we go. And... Uh, the uh, right foot, for example, let's go down all the way to the feet and just take that right foot and you can move it all around. That's what it's all about. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom out really quick. And what we're going to focus on right now is actually changing the, the color of our character's skin. And we're going to be using a, a couple of tools in Photoshop to accomplish that. Now we want to start off here with the face and the body before we move to the head. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the face first. Zoom in on the face here. All right, so with the face, I'm going to twirl up the RL image. We don't need that right now. Uh, we can go to head image like I did before, and I'm going to select the face group, okay? So the face group is where our uh, face layer is, our face image right here. And there you go, you can see the face separate. And if you want to modify that, the color or anything like that, uh, one way we can do it is we can go up here to image, 
adjustments and, you know, just stuff like the hue and saturation. We can adjust those if we want to give her like, a, you know, a little bit of a different, uh, maybe a blue face or a purple face or something like that. We can do that this way. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that for now though. The way we're going to do it in this tutorial here is we're going to use uh, the effects here. So we're going to go down to the effects and add a layer style. So the color, uh, I'm going to actually use the color overlay uh, layer style here. And you can see her face will turn uh, beet red. We're going to uh, settle that out a little bit here by clicking on the color swatch. And I'm going to enter in some uh, pre-calculated values here that I have. You can. Uh, we're going to go ahead and choose uh, 237 for the R. We're going to press tab and go 173 for the green. And for the blue, we have 146. All right, so this will give our character a nice healthy tan. And don't worry about the uh, facial features. We're going to change those colors a little bit later on as well. All right, so let's go ahead and press OK. We've got our color selected for our face. And you can see there's our color overlay. Now, you may think that, uh, you know, we have to do that same thing for all the other layers as well. But actually, we can just go ahead and copy the layer styles and paste those all to uh, the other uh, layers on our face, our talking head group here. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to right click on the face layer here and just go ahead and select copy layer style. And then I'm going to go to the, uh, let's go to the, the ears. Let's go to the right ear here, or rather the left ear first. Go up here, just select that layer, right click and paste the layer style right there. Cool. All right, so it's really that easy. We can do the same thing for the right ear right here. Uh, right click that and paste layer style. And if we want to make that right ear a little bit darker, since it's kind of a little bit behind the face there a little bit, we can just go ahead and double click the color overlay layer style there, and it'll open up that swatch. And we can just go ahead and maybe make it a tiny, tiny bit darker, just like that. Okay, and you can see we had a little bit of a darker ear in the background, maybe a little bit lighter, a little bit too dark there. All right, just a nice subtle touch right there. Okay, so that's the ear taken care of. Yes. To get back to the almost the original value there. Well, what are the chances? Okay, we'll go ahead and keep that one right there. Press OK. All right, so uh, once that's done, you can do the exact same thing uh, for the body as well. So with the face finish, let's go ahead and let's uh, twirl up the talking head group right now and go to RL image. And just continue on with the uh, left hand, for example. Let's scroll out or zoom out rather so we can see the whole body. So the left hand, you'll, it'll open up a whole bunch of sprites here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shift and select all these different sprites because these are the different hand gestures and right click and paste them all or paste the layer style to all of them. Okay. So the right hand is or left hand is taken care of there. Same thing for the left arm and right click paste layer style. Okay. And we're going to save the hit for last because that's a little bit different. Let's focus now on the left foot and uh, pretty much the same thing. Just right click paste layer style. Basically, any part of your character's body that has skin, you want to right click and paste the layer style there. And right foot, paste layer style. Right thigh, paste layer style. All right, so it's a little bit monotonous, but it's not going to take too long. So just right click on all those, paste layer style there. And then finally, we can get to the, uh, let's twirl that up to the right arm. And there we go. So the uh, reason I saved the hip for last is because we have a little bit of an issue here. She actually has some clothing. So we can't change the layer style for the, for the white bikini at the same time. So what we need to do is let's go ahead and just open up the hip group here. Uh, I'm going to select this layer and I'm going to use my trusty old magic wand selection tool here. And let's just select the uh, bra. Just click on it. It should select the entire thing. And then I'm going to hold shift and select the underwear as well. All right, so we have all this selected. I'm just going to press Control C to copy all that stuff I have selected and then Control V. And that should paste all that stuff, a second layer on top of the original layer. So then what we can do, a little trick, we can right click on our original layer there and paste the layer style. And then we still have this layer one, which contains the bra and bottoms here, or the top and bottoms here. And since we have all that taken care of now, we can hold shift and select both layers, right click and just merge the layers. Okay. So we'll just merge them into one. All right. So we've successfully bypassed that uh, bikini issue there. Cool. So that's a, a quick and easy way to do that. Let's go ahead and focus on adjusting the rest of our character's head now. So I'm going to zoom in really close on the head here. So we get a nice look. Go under RL talking head 
And I'm going to do, 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 uh, let's take a look at the nose first. So with the nose, we have a normal, okay, just regular normal nose. Again, just uh, same thing. Color overlay, but I'm going to choose some different values for the nose because we want to make it a little bit darker. And I have those prepared as well. We're going to enter in a value of 224 and tab 131 and 112. Okay, that gives a nice uh, darker nose there. Press OK. And unfortunately, we can't paste these layer styles because they're all very different. For the mouth, again, the same thing. Now, with the mouth, you can see there's a lot of different mouths here. Now, the issue here is with the mouth, what we can do is when we're uh, opening all the layers right here, if we want to open them all, what I can do is I can uh, hold Alt and click on the mouth, and that'll open up all the sub-layers, all the subgroups there, okay? Let's just select the normal mouth right for now. I'm going to right-click on that. Or rather, we're going to just uh, open up the layer, create another layer style there as well. And, uh, 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 whoops, wrong one. Effects, here we go. And uh, color overlay. And for the mouth, we're going to use a value of 246. Tab over. 108 and 85. All right, so you got a nice uh, ruby red lips right there. Press OK. Okay, let's just twirl those up for now. Don't need to worry about that too much. Uh, we're going to uh, take a look now at the brows. Okay, so the brows are the last thing we're going to do before the hair. So with the uh, left brow, let's just open that one up real quick. Um, with the color overlay again, left brow. And for the left brow, I'm going to enter in a couple of values here. Um, 177, 67, and 41. All right. So we're going to give like some dark kind of uh, carrot top eyebrows. All right. And press OK. Again, same thing. Copy layer style. Right brow. Paste layer style down here. All right. So now our brows have the same layer style. And the last thing I'm going to do is focus on the hair. So uh, with the hair, there's a couple of different uh, hairs. There's a back hair and there's a front hair uh, right here. You can do it, which, whichever one we want first. doesn't really matter. Let's uh, um, select the back hair. Use a color overlay one more time. Uh, the back hair, I'm going to enter in the value here of uh, 205 and 66 and 45. All right, so we got a little bit of a ginger look right there. Uh, peppermint patty styles. Press OK. And again, same process. Copy layer style for the back hair. And go to the front hair and paste that layer style. Okay, so we're done all our modifications here. You can see we have a nice uh, tanned uh, red-headed girl in a bikini now. Now the one final thing that we need to do is we need to actually rasterize all the layers. Now the reason for that is because uh, Crazy Talk Animator can't really parse all the special effects and uh, layer styles in Photoshop. So you need to rasterize them, and what that'll do is that'll just convert it from like you know vector format to uh, to pixel format. All right, so it'll be all image based after you finish this process. So keep that in mind, okay? Um, so what I'm going to do here is in order to select all the layers and rasterize them, I'm going to use that same process that I used for the uh, for the mouth before. I'm going to hold Alt and open up my RL, Im RL image here, and that'll open up everything. So I'm going to just uh, Select my first item of my left hand there and go all the way down. Whoops. Uh, there we go. Need to make sure we bring the slider down here. Select everything. Shift and right click and select rasterize layer style. So that's going to basically rasterize everything. You can see uh, the layers have all been flattened now from the left hand, left arm, left foot, everything like that. All right. So then we can hold Alt again and click RL image, and then by regular clicking, it'll just go back to here. All right, so there we go. Everything's been rasterized. Same thing for the head. So let's go to uh, hold the Alt key again. I think believe it's Command on Mac, and click here. Uh, select the first item, my left ear, do, 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 all the way down to the bottom, and Shift select, right click, and rasterize layer style. All right, so all that's taken care of now. Uh, everything has been rasterized and that's basically the final step uh, is the rasterization I guess you can call it all right uh, oops, press the V key there all right so that's our character all we need to do now is save the character 
Now, keep in mind, I'm going to actually go over to uh, Crazy Talk Animator really quick here. If we take this character back into stage mode, we don't want to do that because it'll say leaving composer mode will unsync the external PSD file. So then if you save that file in Photoshop, it's going to unsync it, which we don't want. So we're going to cancel that. Okay. We want to remain in uh, composer mode. If you go back to stage mode, it'll not sync and it won't update your character. All right. So let's go to Photoshop and just go ahead and save this file. Now in Crazy Talk Animator, if we alt tab over, you can see our character has now updated. Let's take a closer look. I'm going to make the bones invisible here. And you can see that uh, everything's updated except for the nose. Uh, it seems like we've missed the nose. So let's go back into uh, Photoshop here. And if we go under head image right here, you can see the nose, actually the nose has retained the effect and it hasn't been rasterized yet. So that's what happens if you don't rasterize a certain layer. It just won't update in uh, Crazy Talk Animator. So I'm going to right click the nose and select rasterize layer there. Let's try, go ahead and try and save it again. So if we save it again, we go back into uh, CTA. There we go. Our nose has been all set up. All right. So there's our finalized character. That's how you change the color style for your layers in uh, Crazy Talk Animator 3 uh, using Photoshop. Uh, we can go ahead and preview our character and uh, have her wave and you can see fully functional just like any other old G3 character there. Uh, so thanks so much for watching, everyone. Make sure you check out our other YouTube videos on our YouTube channel and our forums at forum.reillusion.com. And I'll see you in the next video.